We have such a great message for you today because so many special things always happen along um, our 280 corridor and our neighbors are what makes living here so amazing. I am here today with one of our best neighbors in our community, Erin Knight, and you're watching Life Along 280 in Chelsea. Erin, thank you so much for allowing me to come out and just visit. I have been following you and um, the passion behind everything you've been doing here. It's just amazing. Like you make people want to get involved and, and help this place grow. Um, tell us about what, you know, what Hargis is. Uh, well, Hargis is a camp that's been around for a long time. It's been around since uh, the 1960s, uh, since 1964. And um, it was uh, running as a Christian camp all the way from 64 uh, up until 2019. Uh, was purchased by a local developer then, and uh, that's pretty much when uh, we got involved. And uh, we saw that it still had life to it. We saw that, that the Lord still wanted to do things here, so uh, we decided to pursue the developer and saving the camp. And uh, he was a very nice gentleman that was willing to sit down and, and uh, talk things out. So we're in this season now of fundraising and rebuilding. And, uh, also having camp so we're having camp in the middle of saving the camp we still got a lot of money to raise but uh, we figured we'd go ahead and uh, have camp during that season why is this so important to you because early on when you would come out and pray and you would share some of your prayers and, and thoughts like God was really putting this heavy on your heart well uh, eternity to me is is important so you know this this life is not nearly as important <laughs> as the life to come and I, i'm a pastor so i'll have to speak from that perspective and um to me everything that we do here uh is um just kind of a uh, this side of heaven so i think if you don't do things here for christ that those things don't even count so to me uh, we try to live our whole life thinking about eternity and so um the next generation these kids that are coming up now uh, face some things that I think generations before have never faced and so summer camps and presenting Christ and being able to have a place where people can meet him uh, where people can be born again uh, and eternity be changed uh, is, is paramount it's the most important thing to us well I agree completely there's so many things that our children are going to be facing that we don't even know how to handle yeah absolutely. So, do you um, as a child did you come to this camp um, I really didn't. I, I grew up beside this camp, uh, but I really didn't come to this camp a lot except to hang out and play. I spent the night here, started spending the night here in 1978 when I was five and ran all over this camp just about every day, but I wasn't involved in many youth groups, so I didn't go to a kids camp here and I didn't go to a youth camp here. Um, I did later on as a pastor, but um, uh, as, a, as a kid, most people here in Chelsea know my story. I was a little bit crazy, so I really wasn't involved in church too much. So uh, I spend a lot of time here, just not a lot of time at camp. <laughs> well, I completely understand that. There's still, though, this, um, you probably have really good memories here, you know, from watching others being involved in it and what you've already done by, I know you've got a long way to go. You've got um, to make sure that um, you <laughs> help out in this cause and, and get involved so that um, more and more people can come here. But you've actually hosted lots of children this past summer oh man we um i think we had over 5,000 campers come through That's uh, so we had our our day camp that was uh really for the community here but it was a christian day camp christian theme uh and then we also had different churches that came in cowboy church came in they brought 350 people in with them uh, we had 310 staying here had 40 staying at the camp next door um, we had asbury i mean just all kind of church camps that camped here for years heard about it and came back and our our summer pretty much is getting full for next year. So with us, it's been how do we leverage uh, the camp for the kingdom year round? So not just the summertime. Uh, so that's part of what the Christmas season coming up is about is how do we uh, keep our foot on the gas when it comes to the gospel? How do we, how do we keep uh, finding ways to bring the lost in and be able to share the gospel with them? So we're setting that up for this, uh, this Christmas season here. Well, that's like a huge goal and such a great goal to end up having. Have you thought about doing corporate retreats at all? Um, some. We've had all kind of people reach out with different interests. Uh, we try to re try to keep everything gospel themed, right. uh, which makes it a little bit challenging when you kind of get out into the world, but we know that's where the lost are. So mm -hmm. when it comes to football teams and stuff like that, when they come in, 
Uh, we usually feed them for free, but it's under the prerequisite every time that let us share the gospel with you guys right when we come in, and then I'll kind of hang out with them for a couple hours, and if they want to talk any further about what they heard, uh, they have that opportunity. Well, and that's the purpose. It is. That's so it. Um, I just really love that. I love everything that you're doing here, and it's not you. It's like you said that God is making all of this possible, and He's the one working, but so many people have joined you in this. Um, your wife is has joined you in this what is she she's here full time right well no she's she's at the school she had four jobs last year so I kelly, <laughs> kelly don't know how not, how not to work it's not because she has to have them it's just because right. kelly likes to she likes to work and so uh she's the director here um it fits her perfect uh she's very administrative and i'm very not administrative i'll talk to people i'll go present i'll do whatever um, just don't put me on a desk with the computer so <laughs> she does all of that the scheduling for people coming in uh, the setting up the kids for uh, the camps, you know, and what age groups go with the weir and whatnot. So she's she's the director. Um, I call myself really just a glorified uh, fundraiser and maintenance man around here. Uh, <laughs> but Kelly does all the work behind the scenes uh, uh, on the computer, setting everything up and reaching out to people. And so we couldn't do it without her, that's for sure. Well, what a great team, too, that um, the, the two of you make and everyone else that volunteers their time here. And just like you've said, just the amazing surprise blessings that, you know, God is working through so many people um, to bless this place. So um, I love this story so much. And I wanted to share it with you because um, you may not even know that this is happening right here along 280. And uh, we definitely need your help. Aaron needs your help. Kelly needs your help. Hargis needs your help. Um, just to continue this because um, all of those children that came through here, how many people did you end up baptizing? We, uh, we kept up with it for a while, and it kind of got crazy there at the end. <laughs> so we had a 41-day stretch uh, back in the summer where uh, 124 people made a decision for Christ right here. Uh, 55 people were uh, baptized in the lake right there. And so all from, from spring and in, into where we're at now, it's probably around um, 175 people or so have made a decision right here on this on this property. And I would probably say, I got a baptism due here Sunday, um, and it was probably going to be close to our 60th uh, baptism. Oh wow, that's amazing! And you had a wedding. Yep, yep. I mean, there's we. It, it's been there's been a, a whole lot to do around here, and we've still got a long way to go. And I think that's the kind of the uh, what we were talking about earlier, kind of off camera, was you know we had a, a lot of traction last December because everybody knew we needed to save the camp and come up with a certain amount by December 31st of 2021, and then we had camps, and and I think the mindset shifted to hey, the camp's saved now. Now I'm like, hold on, we got a lot of money that we still got to raise. We still got to raise this year uh, $682,000 as part of our contract. And uh, uh, the good news is we've uh, we've actually paid on the camp. Uh, this year we paid $318,000. And I really believe these last four months of the giving season, uh, the Lord came through, uh, through the generosity of the people in the community. Last year in December, we were able to raise in 26 days $235,000. So... Um, we're believing this this next four months. Uh, we're going to close strong. That that you know, uh, God's favor is going to be upon us, and we're just going to really concentrate on the lives and on the people. Uh, and we're going to talk to the people about donating and just let God handle the results on that. Well, at completely in faith, without a doubt, it is done and wrapped up and handled. But. We all have to do our part to make sure that that happens as well. So I'm totally living in faith like you are about this. It is wrapped up. It is done. God's making this happen. But um, we really need you um, to do your part. We all need to do our part. And so please share, you know, where people can go to donate. Yeah, um, everybody can donate or find out what's going on with the camp. It's all on our website, uh, www.hargischristiancamp.org. That's H-A-R-G-I-S. And uh, on there are different ways that you could partner with us monthly. Uh, you could have a one-time donation. We have different um, campaigns going on, like our donor plaque uh, campaign that's going on in the cafeteria. There's more information on there about it. Uh, and then also ways that you can help with us when it comes to rebuilding the final four and a half lodges that we have left that we've got to remodel inside and out. We'll take any volunteer help there. Uh, also a great way to follow is if you're on social media, on a social media platform, if you're on Facebook, at uh, Hargis Christian Camp. That gives daily updates on everything going on here, uh, our different serve days and things like that. So, uh, hey, so you've got lots of different ways. Um, it doesn't have to be about money. 
It can be about Tom or other resources. Um, there have been so many blessings here that people throughout the community have stepped up and donated. So um, it's just a great feeling to know what's going on here um, right in our community. And this story just completely inspires me. I love it every day. I've used it as an example for so many people that you didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I <appreciate> so, <laughs> Um, I just love it when um, God put something on our hearts and you know you listened and you decided to go for it and look at what has happened already and we know what's going to happen this year. So Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Appreciate you.